Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Gold Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we are taking a look today at the Carolina Hurricanes as they have punched their ticket to the 2022 Stanley Cup playoffs. So we'll be looking at that today. Uh, the Hurricanes, this has been an organization that has been, you know, definitely seen a changing of the tide really specifically since Rod Brendamore came to Carolina. You're looking at this team. The past four seasons now, this is their fourth straight season making the Stanley Cup playoffs. They've gotten bounced in the first round most of those years, but they also had that run in 2018 where they went to the Eastern Conference Final. They inevitably lost to the Boston Bruins. Well, that was 2019. They inevitably lost to the Boston Bruins. Uh, but this is a really successful hockey team overall. You look at those seasons before, the you know, the last four seasons they've made the postseason, they almost went a decade before that. They missed nine straight seasons of, you know, missing the playoffs. And now look at this little run that they are on. It's incredible. You know, a little bit of a change here and there in coaching and management. And this team is on fire and has really looked like one of the more prestigious franchises, especially in the Metropolitan Division, but even in the Eastern Conference. The Hurricanes are a very well-run you know, they're just a well-oiled machine right now. And you look at this team, they have some of the best um, statistics in terms of goals against average and goals for. So you look at the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, I always like to use, I think it's Hockey DB. Uh, but they have a really good way of looking. Oh, no, it's Hockey Reference. Let me find it. But they show the goals for and goals against and how they rank against the rest of the league. And they are in really good company in both of those categories. So you look at the record, 47, 18, and 8. Uh, they have 102 points and right now are in the chase really with the Rangers and the Penguins for the top spot in the Metropolitan Division. And we'll have home ice until the Eastern Conference finals uh like i said they're first in the metro at the making of this video um and you look at their goals for this season they have 243 goals for this season that is eighth best in the nhl and this is the really surprising stat that this is where rod brendamore since he's come in this has been the difference maker for this team their goals against they have topped the new york islanders and the boston bruins who have had the best goals against uh, average in the league over the past couple years. The Carolina Hurricanes right now, 175 goals against. Yes, that is first, the best in the National Hockey League this season. So the Hurricanes are a real tough team right now. Uh, if you're talking about a team coming into the playoffs. Now, they do have a couple of injuries, and it looks like we're going to hopefully see some of those guys return shortly. Uh, Brendan Smith got hurt the other night against the Islanders. Uh, that case is Zika's hit, which he got suspended for. Didn't really look like that big of a hit, but I think more because he is injured. Uh, they've been without Jesperi Kak and Yemi since the end of March. Um, and Jake, Jake Gardner, who has played, and he has not played this season, so... Um, he's still on injured reserve. So other than that, the Carolina Hurricanes really, you know, they have been relying on other players stepping up. And that's been really kind of the interesting thing. You look at this group, it's, you know, the usual suspects at the top. Sebastian Ajo, Andrei Svechnikov, Tavo Teravainen, Vincent Trocek has been incredible with the Carolina Hurricanes. That was a really nice pickup a couple years ago. Tony D, Tony D'Angelo came into this team Everything that happened in New York with the Rangers, all the off-ice issues, it seems like for the most part that has been quieted and temped down this season. Uh, he currently leads defensemen in the New York in the Carolina Hurricanes organization. He's got 47 points this season. He's really he's been really good for the Hurricanes this season. Not to mention their goaltending has also been incredible. Freddie Anderson already looks like he is going to get. Uh, to that 40 win mark this year. He's got 34 right now. He's probably going to hit 40 by the end of the regular season, or at least going to be very close. Uh, he's got a 925 save percentage, a 2.07 goals against average. Like These stats are really good. And Freddie Anderson, you know, you know, funny enough, he looks like he's the guy that could win the Vesna Trophy this season. And, you know, this is one of those things where you're looking at the Hurricanes. They're a favorite going into the playoffs, especially in the Metro. Um, but they've had some games here and there where, you know, there is a little bit of concern. 
Um, you know, you look at their game against the Islanders, it just, it seems like they know that they made the playoffs and they're starting to get complacent. And that's where, if I'm a Hurricanes fan, I'd be a little bit nervous. Now, they did take care of business against Anaheim the other day. That was a really impressive win. They beat Montreal. They blanked them uh, last week. So they have these Jekyll and Hyde games. They lose the game 3-1 to Minnesota. That was... You know, not their best effort. They lost to Buffalo in Buffalo, 4-2. to two. They lost to the Islanders, 2-1. to one. Um, But then they went to Washington last Monday, or two Mondays ago. They beat the Caps in D.C., 6-1. to one. Like, this is what I'm talking about. It's, you know, they kind of pick their poison in games of where they want to show up and where they don't want to show up. Now, maybe that materializes in the playoffs. They're more motivated. They're ready to go come playoff time. But as of right now, there is some little games here and there where you think... Maybe they aren't where they need to be. Now, by the time you guys watch this video, they'll be playing the Rangers. That's going to be a really big test for them. A big game on the road to close out this season. They have a couple of pretty tough games. Uh, they play the Rangers, the Avalanche on the road in Colorado. Uh, they go out west to play Arizona. That's only one game. I think that's a makeup game. Uh, and then they head down the Metro Division pipeline. They play all those Metro Division teams one more time. They go back. Uh, to the New York area, they play the Devils, the Islanders, and the Rangers, and then the Devils again to finish off their home regular season before the playoffs. So those are going to be some tough games down the stretch. And I think, you know, you look at the Red Wings, the Jets, the Coyotes, and even the Devils, but still there are a couple games in there that they're going to have to keep, you know, if they want to keep pace to win the, the Metro this year, they are going to need to find a way to be motivated to get points each and every night. And that mojo will transfer into the offseason. You know, once you come into the, you know, from the regular season to the postseason, come playoff time, the more momentum you have, the better off you are. And that's why we talk about some teams that just sneak in, like the wild card teams, probably in the West this year, whether that's Dallas or Vegas or whoever it ends up being, even Vancouver, whoever that ends up being. You know, they're used to being in the dogfight already. They've been fighting every night just to get into the playoffs. So they've been playing their best hockey for the probably the past month or two. Meanwhile, the team that wins the conference, they got a little complacent down the line. Maybe they, you know, we see Jared's, you know, uh, Jared, you know, Jordan Stoll maybe take a couple nights off. Sebastian Ajo take off that game against the Devils. And you start to see these guys kind of getting ready for the playoffs, but they don't have that same energy that they would need to have against another opponent that they would probably play in the first round, whether that's Boston or Washington. Uh, with that said, though, I think the Carolina Hurricanes could go for a run this year. I mean, they're listen, they look like a very good hockey team, very well coached. Rod Brendamore, the way he's got the system there, but their, their mentality recently does have me wondering, come playoff time, could they be a team that gets stunned in the first round up against Washington or Boston, who is a very veteran team that could end up being an issue for them? And maybe playing a team like Pittsburgh in the first round, even if they slide to that second, you know, that second spot of the Metro, that might actually be a benefit to the to the way the Hurricanes play. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What would you like to see the Carolina Hurricanes' first round matchup be? Would you rather see them play the Penguins? Would you rather see them play the Caps, the Bruins? Let me know what you guys think. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.